good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and we have been using Tinkercad to make awesome laser designs. My friends, I've got a cool one now. I'm gonna try and make a skateboard. So let's get cracking. So let's begin with create new design. As soon as you get in, name it skateboard. Make sure you add your initials so we can tell whose is whose. Once you've got it named, move down to Edit Grid, and let's make it look like the Glowforge bed. Remember, we use 480, and we use 280. You have to backspace and press Enter to lock those in, and tell it Update Grid. I'm going to scroll out so that I can see it all, and I'm going to use quite a bit of it, but I'm not going to use it all. I'm going to simply make a long board as well. You can be way more precise. I'm just testing for the ability for this to work. I am gonna round the sides. Remember, we're gonna build it out of cardboard. My cardboard is always four millimeters thick and I'm gonna make it brown just cause that looks kinda cool to me. That is how easy it is to create the longboard shape. If you've been following along at all, we use the box and we cut out holes so that our parts can attach. That is the cool part of building with the Glowforge and Tankercad. We've always made it four millimeters thick because remember that is how wide the cardboard is. I'm going to make it four millimeters high as well so it looks just like it's going to be. And quite often I have shrunk these for this project where I'm creating trucks. I'm going to actually make them longer. I am also only going to make the simplest trucks ever. Uh, I would like to challenge you to make trucks that allow it to move as the trucks do on a real skateboard. Let's begin with making the wheels that are going to be on our trucks. That helps us figure out just how large they are going to be. Currently these are 20 millimeters. I am going to hold down shift and I'm going to move mine out to 40 millimeters for the size of my wheels. I want them to be super round because that makes them go a little bit better. And I'm going to change the height to 4 millimeters thick because remember it is cardboard. The straws I use are 6 millimeter straws so let's bring out the cylinder hole. I'm going to click on that shape and change both of these measurements to 6 so that way it fits inside. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle that touches the two to select them. I'm going to click center. I want to center them around this sheep, so I'm going to click it. And when I click and click, you can see that is in the middle. It is really crazy high for this cutout project. I'm going to make it precise today, even though it doesn't matter. If I make it four millimeters, they fit. And now when I group it, I have got my wheel. I'm going to glue two of these together for each wheel. So right now I'm going to set these up for cutting. If I do control D, and move the next one over. If I do control D again and again and again, it moves those all the way across. So I have all eight of my wheels ready. I'm going to hide this tiny little piece for a second. I'm gonna take my eight wheels and I'm gonna move them down out of the way so they're ready later for cutting. If we click show all, we can bring back the hole for that truck. All right, so let's start with our trucks. First, I'm gonna align my hole with the long board by clicking a line, clicking on the long board. So now that part is centered and I'm gonna move it all the way to the back. With it aligned in the center of my long board, I'm gonna to switch to the five millimeter grid and I'm gonna move it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten clicks. So I'm 50 millimeters in. I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna move this one, one, two, three, to the left, uh, right, and I'm gonna move this one, one, two, three, to the left. I'm gonna hold down shift and select those two, and I'm gonna make them a group. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to shift select my long board, and I'm gonna align the two I just made all the way down here. So notice I've got the original two, and I've got the new two. Now these, all I've got to do is move them in 10 clicks because they're already aligned. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so now that I've got the holes created, I'm going to create the tabs with the same parts. This trick is super slick. I'm doing Control D to duplicate. I'm making them solids. So I'm going to pick the color red, and then I'm going to lock them. 
I don't want those new red pieces to be adjustable. I'm going to go back down to this end. I want to click on those same holes. If I get close, it lets me select them pretty easily. Once again, we're going to do duplicate this time instead of control D. I'll hit the button. Once again, I'm going to make them red. And once again, I'm going to lock them. Friends, this is where it gets amazing because of that lock. Watch this. If we select all five shapes and hit group, it does group the two sets of holes and the longboard. But if we just click on the longboard and hide, you can see it leaves the pieces that we need for our trucks. All right, friends, let's build these awesome little trucks. First, I'm going to hide. I am going to unlock. I am going to break apart my truck. Notice they turn into holes. I'm going to make them back into solids. I'm not going to break these apart because I'm only going to build one truck right here. If we look at this little dude, he is 30 across, and I want more of my truck. So there are lips. So this pushes up in the hole, but then there's more support here. I'm going to build my super simple truck with a round roof. When I bring it in, once again, make sure I'm looking at it from a corner so I can find that rotation. Stay close to the shape to do the 90 degree rotate and D to drop it. Once again, we are working with cardboard, so I'll make it four millimeters thick. And then remember, this part is 30, so I'm going to make this 60 across. And then remember, our wheels have a diameter of 40. So I'm just going to use 40 here. I could probably go as low as 25, but I want to make sure there's plenty of room for the wheel to not rub on the skateboard. It's time to make the axle holes for our straws. Let's do that by bringing out a cylinder. And then we are going to actually type the numbers just because I want you to really see how important these are. If you do 6, it's a little bit tight. If you do 6.4, then it gives a nice gap for the straw. We don't have to do the 4 height, but I like to, so I'm going to quick. All right, so let's grab the hole and the shape. Let's do a line. I'm going to click on the shape so it looks visually correct. I want to align right there, and I want to align right there. I'm going to click just on that hole, switch to my 5 millimeter grid if I lost it, and I just want to move 10 millimeters, so one, two clicks so that it's right there, and then I can group it so it's ready to be used. Because I ungrouped these, I can click on the one piece, I can do control D, and then if I hit my work plane and I set it right to that flat edge, if I hit D, that part drops right where I want it. I'm going to set the work plane back to normal, then I can grab those two shapes, I can do a line, and if I hit center, it lines up right where it's supposed to be, and now I can group my ready to use truck. Alright, so let's quickly get this back where it was with those two parts grouped and locked so that they stay in place. Let's do show all and let me show you how we can mock this up super quick and make sure that it looks the way it's supposed to. First, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and then I'm going to hold down shift and click on the little red parts. Notice it said two parts selected. I'm going to click on a line and then I care about where the red parts are, so I'm clicking them. And I want it to be on this edge, and I want it to be centered, and I want it to be at the top. Check it out. That's how slick it is to drop that part in when we actually add the wheels that are ready to roll. Let's drop a wheel on there real quick as well. I'm going to do Control D, nudge it out, stand it up 90 degrees, hit that work plane, click on the shape, do D to drop. And then I'm going to shift click that shape so there are two of them. I want it to line up with this shape, and if I hit center, I want this spot, and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. And then, if I nudge down, let's see how close we are, I'm going to fit view right to that spot, and look at it from the front. You can see I'm off by a couple millimeters, but I can switch a couple nudges with the arrow key, and it's in place. That is one of my favorite parts, is that we can actually get a good glimpse of what it'll look like before we actually cut it on the Glowforge. Now that I've got it mocked up, I'm going to put the work plane back to normal, and then I'm going to back out of here. I don't ever want to wreck my mocked up version. When I go back to Tinkercad, I'm going to click on my mocked up one, and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to change the name to Laid Out Skateboard because this will have the exact layout for when we cut it. I'm going to grab all of my wheels real quick, and I'm going to make sure that they're aligned with each other. 
just hit that bottom edge that's easier for the laser cutter to cut let's move the longboard body over here we can delete these pieces because we don't need them anymore they don't actually get cut I'm gonna delete the extra wheel down there I'm going to bring this shape up by dropping it rotate it 90 degrees move it away from those red pieces and drop it down grab these red pieces unlock them and delete them as well I'm gonna look at it from the front nudge this to the left turn on my five millimeter grid because it makes it a little quicker control D and then I'm gonna just nudge that till it's in a spot where it's gonna be able to cut and do control D and control D just like that I've created my laid out longboard design and then I'm gonna do control A so I've got it all selected and we're gonna export it for laser cutting you could have done everything in the design but I've got only the 13 shapes that works as well and if you're in my classroom remember we always go to quick access look for the STL folder and then save it with our name if you're saving it more than once it'll just have that cool little number after it so that way you know which one is which and just like that you're ready to move to the Glowforge software and get it cut out all right friends so that quickly it's brought in the Glowforge I always cut with my 1 200 100 4 millimeter settings always need to set it to the uncertified 4 millimeter cardboard that I use and let's hit print and make some magic of course the magic always starts with that press of the white button Alrighty friends, so here is version one of the longboard. As you can see, the little trucks work just like they're supposed to, and she rolls pretty darn well. Uh, I was in a hurry, so I used hot glue, which I always recommend for the outsides of the wheels. I don't recommend hot glue everywhere else because it leaves a mess, and it's just not as strong as normal glue. But the project does work, and hopefully you can see there's a ton of room for you to make yours way more cooler, larger, and fancier than I did. Alrighty friends, so hopefully you had some fun, learned some cool skills, and you are right now designing your own sweet longboard that I can cut out in my classroom. Friends, if you found the video useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know in this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.